I love the, the, the artifice of hipster culture. The, it's like a, you know, a bunch of peacocks walking around with their, their ironic attire. Um, and, and, you know, some people are, are it almost seem not to, to know they're wearing a, a hilarious costume and other people are quite conscious of the fact that, yes, I'm wearing these, this, these ridiculous pants and have this enormous beard. Um, yeah, I'm kind of part of this thing. Well, for this process, because it's an adaptation of another play, um, what, what really struck me about this particular restoration plays, and, and all restoration plays actually, is that, is that a lot of the humor is based on, as I said, archetype, um, and, and those archetypes have a lot to do with gender. So, you know, women at their best are, are virtuous and chaste, and at their worst are vain and gossipy. And men at their best are noble and honorable, and at their worst are drunken bods. Um, and for me, when I looked at that, I thought, you know, I don't know if that, th th those gender divisions are, are quite right today. In fact, it's, it's, it's just as likely that a young woman would be a drunken bod and that a man would be a, a vain peacock. So, so I switched all the genders, or many of the genders uh, of the characters and, you know, experimented with, you know, uh, also sexual orientation and, and, and from, from that point of view, sort of dug into the text again and, and saw what, what, what bubbled up and, and saw what was, what was different uh, from today as opposed to 300 years ago. It's a very loose adaptation of The Provoked Wife by Sir John Vanbrugh, which is a restoration comedy. Um, what, I, what I love about the restoration comedy, it, comedies is that, is that they, they really play with archetype. And so it's, it's not a question of, of who you are, but what you are in the context of your society. So um, they play with the character, the, the archetype of, of the fop, for example, or, um, or the malcontent, or the, the cuckold, or the, or the wife, or the... And, and, and so in, in playing with these archetypes and, and, and in playing in some ways with, with cliches, it sort of exposes uh, uh, things about society. And, and also for me, there's something in the restoration comedy which is, is fascinating, is that uh, you, know, you have this comedy bubbling on the surface, but underneath there's actually um, sort of a, a, a lot of dark, dark content and, and, and people's fears. And well, I'm looking to provoke, I'm looking to entertain, I'm looking to maybe introduce a, a, a culture of young people to um, you know, maybe part of the audience, an older generation who, you know, might want some insight into the, this, the struggles of youth today. Um, but it's a comedy, so it's also, it's, it's just funny, <laughs> hopefully.